So today I've got the sun blasting in my face, as you can see. Um, we are going to be chipping away at the interior scene that we've been doing for a few weeks now. Um, I'm going to be doing the materials on the kitchen bench top, all the cabinetry, the kitchen island, and yeah, we're going to see where we get to, um, but let's just jump straight into it. Alright guys, so it turns out I actually didn't end up recording what I just did, so instead this is going to be a bit of a behind the scenes of, um, I guess, setting up the materials and um, yeah, changing the materials and getting them looking nice, so let's just get straight into it. So starting out, I isolated all the kitchen items and I basically just UV unwrapped everything. I made sure everything was in the right direction. So for something like timber, it's really important that you get that right. Um, and then I also used this um, lime, kind of a lime wash plaster material. Um, and also in the recess of the island, I added that same timber material and I also added that limestone material on the kitchen top and also the splashback. So the materials I used are the um, polygon materials. It's the random uh, veneer walnut, random matched. And I did a little bit of adjustment to it, just reduce the saturation and... Um, you know just a few few tweaks like that and then also with this plaster material I actually didn't change it at all um, it's a really good material um, and also I also just added a copper flue uh, I added copper to the flue um, and then yeah so that's I mean that's pretty pretty self-explanatory um, but if you guys just need a quick recap basically UV unwrapping you want to make sure you download Texel Density which is a free plugin I believe um, so with whatever geometry you have um, actually let's just do it for this so let's imagine the UVs are all scrambled um, because you haven't done it yet so let's say it's just looking really weird like um, Let's just say it's like real big, like that, right? Just looks strange. So pretty much first step is to go control A, apply all transformations, and then we want to go down to UV unwrap. We want to click unwrap. And the first step is with this plugin Texel Density, we want to change the texture size to 4096. We want to make sure that this set TD is on 20.48, and that basically sets the size for the 4k texture and then we just want to go set my TD and then that's that so obviously that's the wrong direction you want to go down to the UV editor go into the uh, edit mode of the object and then go R90 bam we've got it in the right direction you'll notice that it does look really weird for some reason and that's because the normals are actually flipped so we want to you see the correct one versus the one we just made so what we want to do is we want to go and back into the um, object mode. We want to go Alt N and we want to go flip. And I'm not sure why exactly that happens. Um, sometimes it just does. So if it ever looks kind of weird, that's why. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be honest. This is a very short one um, because honestly, this is a very straightforward process. Um, but you definitely want to take the time and find the right materials because ultimately that's what you see um, and also don't be afraid to tweak materials tweak the contrast do whatever it takes to to get it looking good so um, that's pretty much it for this week's episode next week we're going to be doing lighting and um, you know all the final tweaks that we need so yeah we're almost there for this project and then the next one i'm going to be doing a behind the scenes of my recent project Glowbox, which um, i think is going to be a really good one if you guys haven't already please like and subscribe to my channel if you're finding this content useful and i'll see you next week